Okay, so in this scene, we're going to talk about mediastinal pathology, various pathologies associated with the different compartments of the mediastinum. So let's just explain what's going on over here. So here we have the superior mediastinum, and on the bottom we have the inferior mediastinum, which has three groups, the anterior mediastinum, the middle mediastinum, and the posterior mediastinum. So you have to sort of imagine someone facing this way, and these rooms are going to represent these different compartments. So let's explain. So let us start with the anterior compartment over here, the anterior mediastinum. And the T's remind us of the anterior mediastinal pathologies. Over here we have the tarantula on this guy over here. On this T is the tarantula for the teratoma. Over here we have a T with a gutter. There's a gutter that goes down over here where the water goes down. Gutter for goiter, substernal goiter. Thyroid, substernal goiter. Over here, we have this guy who's also going into the superior compartment to help us remember that the ones that we're about to mention are also associated with the superior compartment. We have this lymph node over here with the foam to help us remember the lymphoma, the terrible lymphoma. And we also have over here this tie mouse. This mouse likes to wear a tie for tie mouse for thymus, thymic neoplasm. And just to review, thymic neoplasm and terrible lymphoma are also associated with the superior mediastinum. Over here we get to the middle mediastinum and we see a few things over here. The first thing we note is this car over here that's going through the wall and it's got this tube in it. This tube is actually for food, just like the esophagus. So this is the esophagus car or the esophageal carcinoma. Esophageal carcinoma is associated with the middle mediastinum along with hiatal hernia and that's why we have this high A over here. That was remember hiatal hernia. We have the broccoli sisters over here who are very amused by what's going on. Broccoli sisters for bronchogenic cysts. And these mats that are flying around over here are to help us remember the metastasis. Metastasis is very common in this area. Finally, we get to the posterior mediastinum and we see this monster guy or this tumor guy on the nerve to help us remember the neurogenic tumor that's associated with the posterior mediastinum. This includes neurofibroma, schwannoma, and we also see the M&Ms, M&Ms for multiple myeloma. And the reason why they're in the bone marrow over here, because multiple myeloma affects the bone marrow. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this weird scene. I'm mediastinal pathology. Take care.